Hey, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. So here we have a very quick guide on the dungeon Soul Fire Bastion in Lost Epoch. And the main thing about this dungeon is the Soul Gambler. You can purchase items from the Soul Embers that will obtain during your Soul Bastion run. Uh, for a chance of getting not only yellows and purple items, but also uniques and set pieces as well. The dungeon also have four different boss specific drops and also three exclusive uniques from the Soul Gambler itself. More about the items later in the video. To enter the dungeon you will need to get the Soul Bastion key and this can be obtained by different kinds of sources like doing arenas, monoliths and also by random drops from enemies and bosses. Having a higher corruption level also affects the drop chance by getting these keys from the Shade of Ouroboros. There's also four tiers to choose from per dungeon and you will have to start by completing the first to be able to enter the next. And depending on the tier of your choice, uh, the dungeon will get harder the higher your shoes and the last boss also have exclusive uniques locked behind each tier. Uh, every dungeon has its own unique mechanics, Soulfire Bastion has Soulfire Shield and it can be tuned to deflect either fire or necrotic energies uh, but not both at once. And the shield is impenetrable to the element it's deflecting uh, no matter the strength. And you will have to retune the shield depending on the current situation. You will need soul embers to change attunements between fire and necrotic. Uh, be aware that the more soul embers you spend on retuning the shield, uh, the safer you will be, but also the fewer embers you will have uh, to trade to the soul gambler at the end of the dungeon. And the soul embers can be retrieved by defeating different kinds of enemies within the soul fire bastion. The more powerful the defeated enemy is, the more soul embers you will get. The dungeon got two levels and also a boss room. Before you proceed to the next level, you will get new modifiers to the dungeon, uh, both affecting your loot uh, at the end and also the increased enemy damage and also enemy health. And uh, these modifiers will uh, be different depending on how high uh, the tier is on the dungeon at the moment. The boss is called Fire Leech Cremorous and he uses two types of damage sources being fire and necrotic. You can disregard one type at a time uh, thanks to the Soulfire Shield mechanic. However, the boss has ways to force you into picking one shield or the other. The boss got a couple of abilities to watch for. Uh, he will shoot a beam of fire in front of him that you need to avoid. The floor will also start to burn with either flame or necrotic flames depending on the color. He will shoot a wall of flame across the whole room. And he also can curse you and reduce your resist by 25%. He can also summon minions, shoot out homing projectiles and create fire and necrotic orbiters uh, that will circle around him. For the boss specific low tier we have the Ashes of Mortality which can be dropped by completing him on tier 1. Next we have a set piece called Lich Envy from completing on tier 2. We also got the belt called Immolator's Oblation from tier 3. And uh, lastly we have a two handed axe called Pyre of Affliction which is locked behind tier 4. Once the boss is defeated, you will get access to the Soul Gambler. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, you can purge his items from the Soul Embers that you got during your Soul Fire Bastion run for different kinds of rewards. And the Soul Gambler got some exclusive uniques of its own and are not locked behind any tier restrictions. First, we have a pair of gloves called the Burning Ever Eyes. And we also have a relic called Ashes of Ocean, and lastly a unique amulet called Soul Gambler's Fallacy. So there we have the quick guide on the Soul Fire Bastion Dungeon. Thanks for watching, if you found this video helpful don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel to show your support. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!